And there he is, ladies and gentlemen, right in the background. As you can see now, we finally have the Chaplin Grimaldis model revealed. We've only got two more reveals now left for the Black Templars. It is the uh, Black Templar Ancient and the rest of the Sword Brethren squad. Now, I would like to know what you think of this model right now. As we're looking at it right now, this is indeed a Primaris Grimaldis. As I've been saying now, all the characters are getting the Primaris treatment. That's where that Games Workshop has been doing everything. It even states it here. He may be clad in a new suit of Mark X Tacticus armor, but the detailing is full of the callbacks to his classic miniature. I do love the detailing on the model personally. I love the way it looks. The only thing that's kind of off for me is just his pose. When we got like the Hellbreck pose, that was kind of a really hero-esque pose. I just maybe wanted that with Grimaldis a little bit more, but maybe this is just the way Grimaldis is. He wants to walk forward and hit things with his giant Crozius. Now, Grimaldis doesn't come alone. He brings with his, his servitors, and it says here in the article, the servitors carry the banner of the Fallen Crusaders, that awesome bloody banner there. You can see uh, actually at the top with the skeleton and things, that was part of the rumor engine uh, that we spoke about, uh, I think it was last month or something. So that is that rumor image right there. Um, the scepter of um, uh, atoning, um, it says here, and the remnants of the Fallen Temple as well. So again, if you compare these to the old ones, um, they basically spice them up a bit. The banner bearer, the banner uh, itself, I think is absolutely beautiful. Well, it's painted beautiful um, on here. But yes, you will get those free servitors that come along with this new Grimaldis Primaris model. So that's it really, gents. We don't have really too much information on his rules or anything like that in this article. It's just showing it off. Again, I would love to get your thoughts on feedback. Um, I love all the little candles. I, yeah, I love the model. I do. I do love the model. It's probably not my highest rated model from the Black Templar range so far. I still think the generic Marshall outshines this one just for the rule of cool he has. And of course, Hellbrecht is at the top for me. I absolutely love the Hellbrecht pose because it's based off Mark Gibbons. And Mark Gibbons, um, uh, well, so it's based off the Mark Gibbons artwork, which was my favorite bloody one. Uh, I'm so glad we got to see this today on Monday. Um, since they released the Necromunda model, I thought, okay, that's it basically for the new model for today. But this came out of left field. So yeah, amazing stuff. Um, hopefully we'll see some rules from him this week, next week, but it shouldn't be too long now before we get the entire range completely shown off to us. Right, enough waffling. I would love to get your thoughts, feedbacks, anything like that. Post it down below and we can have a nice little talk down there as we always do. See you now. Have a great day and bye-bye.